Hello, this is A-Guy here giving you a Skyrim Deidre quest called The Break of Dawn. Here, in order to start this quest, you need to have, you need to either one, go to a shrine, this strange shrine, or two, find this beacon, showing right here. That beacon tells, simply tells you to go to the shrine. Still, basically the same thing. Look at my temple lying in ruins. So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. If they love me not, how can my love reach them? Hallelujah. token to fuel his foul deeds. I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. You will enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, and destroy the defiler. Of course you will. I have command. Go now. The artifact must be reclaimed, and Malkarin destroyed. Malkarin has forced the door shut, but this is my temple, and it responds to my decree. I will send down a ray of light, guide this light through my temple, and its doors will open. Alright, we know that the temple is right beneath us. I got everything prepared for it. And now it's time to bash some faces. Here we are, right inside the temple. First off, I gotta check something. No, not quest. System, settings, gameplay, yep. So I'm playing this on Legendary, so this may take longer than I would thought it would, so from time to time I will speed up the video. So. Heading on here, for, heading towards the first beacon, there's like no enemies around, just mostly loot. But heading down towards this next hallway is three enemies right there. Yep, getting the first sneak attack for a free hit. After that, they'll soon disturb me, so I'm gonna shoot as much as I can to get free hits from them. Just keep shooting like that. Just keep shooting, just keep shooting, shooting. And so, my first. Well, your highest priority target out of the three would be the one with the two-handed. The two-handed one does the most deal the most damage in the legendary difficulty out of the three. So he's the biggest threat. The swordsman right there and that unarmed one, which was basically the archers, it's no threat to me. So they're they're an easy kill. So yeah, that's, that unarmed one was basically no threat at all. He cannot hit me, he has no animation to hit me, and basically an easy kill. So heading down towards speeding up again. Yep, speeding up again, heading towards the next speaking robot, which will open the door to my right. So it will then contain two enemies that I sneak attack for free hits. More free hits, more free hits, and more free hits. Now, I don't know. I was hoping to bash him to prevent him from hitting me, but that didn't work. Now that that sword was out of the way, I need to just duel with the archery. And fortunately for me again, this one is no threat at all. No threat whatsoever. No threat. So speedy up again, heading to down towards these hallways. 
you'll, you'll use, there's like really nothing until you reach a treasure chest which contains no trap, just mostly gold and heading towards this next guy. I was the thinking of either killing him or just skipping, skipping him because I know it's the beacon on my right. Heading up towards the beacon, just jumping over the cliff, activate and just head out towards there. Origi the original path would have been to go the long way around on the left, but that was easy. So heading out towards this back, we need to check to make sure that no one's coming out. Also seeing other lights opening up the next doorway, just heading straight through. And I know it's a chest, but unfortunately it's locked at experts. So I'm like, screw that. So I aim towards this next rune. In this next rune here, you'll you'll quickly head straight to a great hallway or so, great hall. And you I don't know this one enemy right there. Just get free hits as much as possible. Just free hits, free hits. And yeah. So, out of the two, the biggest threat would be the one with the two hand. But unfortunately, I've been shooting the one headed one, so yeah, he's gonna hit me hard. Use on Roulette T4 to give myself some space, and it'll be an easy kill. There we go, now that he's down, this guy should be simple. Hey, up towards the stair to activate that beacon, which will then open the door right behind me. Get some potions first. Hey, towards this hallway, I'll n encounter another enemy that's completely stuck. I don't know if it's a bug or just poor placement. He's he's right now stuck, so he's basically just simply shooting him down. Would be it's just that easy. But but I like screw that. I just want to bash him head on. All right, he's then heading towards this treasure room. I open the door, step back to activate the trap, and just pick some potions and some gold from that chest. Heading out, opening another chest, which contains some useful stuff, and heading towards this room. That trap there, right there, activates with swinging axes. So, yeah, just avoid that by jumping over it. So, heading towards this, back into the Great Hall again. Let's head towards the net straight path, then uh, counter another enemy. Basically an archer, so he should be easy. But then again, he's basically no threat now that he now he's not carrying a weapon. Don't know why. Every time they switch to a weapon, melee weapon, they pretty much go unarmed. So taking those potions here, ignoring that chest because it's locked. Hey up towards, hey up any ahead towards this next hall, the next room actually. Seeing the two-handed one, seeing gain some free shots just to be safe. Bashing him to get myself some room. You know, facing these guys one on one is actually easy. The only thing you have to know is basically to stagger them. Then after that, they can't, they cannot hit you at all. So dealing with this archer here, it's all I have to do to avoid taking a shot from him. Is simply uh, keep on moving left and right. That way he can't hit me at all. But unfortunately, unfortunately for me, this time this one actually switched to his sword. So he's actually a bit of a threat. But in, but kill them none less. So heading towards up ahead, there's like no enemy left towards this top, top floor. Activate the beacon to head towards the last room. So here we are in the final room. Gotta check my inventory first to fully charge up my weapons of Grand Soul Gems. Charging my crossbow as well. And after that, basically just going, going to the final area. Uh, activate that beacon, loot the place up, just be safe. Yeah. Time. Okay, now that we're at the last part of the room, I'm outnumbered by five to one. So, gotta make every shot count. So, uh, just give me some free shots there. Keep shooting, keep shooting to make sure you can get to me. Right now, currently, there are like five enemies: one powerful mage, two swordsmen, and two two-handers. Unfortunately for me, I got hit by him. So, yeah. But fortunately, he, he separated from this group, so I could simply kill him fast before they get to me. And that just keeps swinging and swinging. Get myself some room, some ranting force. After that guy's dead, two more to go. Kill as fast as I can before any board of that mate gets to me. That two handed has gone. That guy's gonna be easy to kill. And 
now it's just me and the mage. Fortunately for me, the mage is being stupid right now. He cannot, he will not get close at all, so I get, so I get to shoot him down all I want. Just shoot him down. Waiting for him to come up. Which he's basically being stupid by just putting his ward up. Well, it does break the fire enchantment from my crossbow, but it doesn't stop the damage from being hit from the arrow. So, maybe. But, for, but, for, but finally, he starts trying to get closer. Almost, he's almost dead, but he can heal himself, so that's gonna take longer than I thought. But now that he's close, it's no longer safe for me to shoot him because he'll just cast that huge frostbow right there. So the only thing left to do is basically bash him in. Now that he's dead, his shade appears. So I have to bash him or shadow as many as, many as I can before he hits me. He could potentially kill me in one hit. All is going good until this happens. What just happened was a bug. When you shot at him, there's a chance where that he will stop doing everything but have a ridiculous amount of health or you could barely hit him. It's a bug, I don't know why it's like that, but uh, fuck. Malkarin is vanquished. Skyrim's dead shall remain at rest. This is as it should be. This is because of you. A new day is dawning, and you shall be its herald. Take the mighty Dawnbreaker, and with it purge corruption from the dark corners of the world. Wield it in my name, that my influence may grow. May the light of certitude guide your efforts. So that's basically the end of the quest. The reward is a Diedrich artifact sword called Dawnbreaker, where it does deal extra damage towards undead. Killing them will explode and damage other undeads. So yeah, let's test this out. Thank you for watching and goodbye.